Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and within this video, I'm going to show you how to bake pork chops in the oven. So the first thing you want to do is grease your pan. You can use butter, like I'm using, or you can use margarine. And what that's going to do after you bake your pork chops, that's going to make cleaning up that casserole dish so much easier. So don't forget to grease your pan with butter or margarine. Take your time, thoroughly do it, do it like a boss. Place your pork chops in that grease pan, take your time, and gently place them in there. Look at that, mmm, fresh pork chops right on top of the greased pan. Take your time, you may want to wash them off out of the package, but I didn't. I just took them out of the package and put them in there. You do what you want to do. But I know where I got my pork chops, so I knew they were good. Put them in that grease pan. Now it's time to season that stuff. Get you some soy sauce. Cheap store brand soy sauce will work unless you're snooty and you can't handle that. Soy sauce. Get you some soy sauce. Then, what you're going to want to do next is get a little bit of, uh, and you know, this is what you want to do. Just get you some Worcestershire. You can get the name brand. You can get the cheap store brand Worcestershire, whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do, but you can check the link within this video's description to find some uh, options. Garlic powder, not garlic salt, because I don't want it overly salty. I've already got salt for my soy sauce, so I just put garlic powder on there. Now this next thing is kind of, uh, kind of amazing, and you do need to expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online. But this seasoning, it's so versatile, man. You can use it on pork chops. You can use it on chicken. You can use it on other things too, but man, that stuff mm, just sets it off like a boss. And you got to do this. Get you some more butter. Butter's fine. Margarine's fine. Whatever you want to put on it. Margarine or butter, I don't care. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be a jerk and tell you what you want to do. Some people like butter, some people like margarine. Hey, some people may do both. But put that on top of your pork chops because when these suckers slow bake, mmm, it's just going to make them so much more incredible. Just look at that butter man mmm now this is super important get you some onions chop them up sweet Vidalia onion or just a standard onion doesn't matter look at that mmm get that onion toss it all over it get that onion in there because not only is this going to help with flavor penetration but it's also going to uh, well I mean you got you got that sucker bacon not bacon like the pork, but baking, B-A-K-I-N-G. You got it baking, and while it bakes, this stuff is going to add flavor to the pork chops. And not only that, but when you eat the pork chops, you serve the pork chops with those baked onions. Speaking of baking, you need to cover this sucker up with aluminum foil. If you're across the pond, you may say aluminium. I don't care what you call it. But you cover that sucker up tightly because it's important. Speaking of important, I got too excited and I forgot to put a little bit of water in there. Because what you want to do is add a little bit of water, not much, just a little bit. Because as this bakes, that water is going to help to further tenderize your pork chops. And you want a good, tender, and flavorful baked pork chop. I ain't got to say much about this, man. Look at that. Mmm, quality speaks for itself. Serve it up with some green beans or something else. Mmm.
Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.